Welcome to Lifestyle Matters, I'm Marilyn Moore. Summer is right around the corner, which means summer camps are coming up, and we have Isaac here from Santa Teresita Youth Conference Center, and he's gonna talk about all of the summer camps that they have going on this summer. Isaac, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me. So, STIC is what uh, your name is, sh short the yeah. acronym for yeah, it. so yeah. let's just go with stick okay yeah, that, it makes it <laughs> easier that's a mouthful it's a beautiful name let's yeah, talk about yeah. you know outside of summer what do you offer so um throughout the uh the most of the year uh we run as a confirmation retreat so um for the diocese of fresno we we offer different retreats uh whether it's for eighth graders or for um, confirmation students mm -hmm. or um even just uh, a young adult retreat and we're getting into summer, and so I'm mm -hmm. assuming you've been doing this for a while now, summer camps and yes. offering it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we have three summer camps this season, and uh, our first one is a junior high camp uh, made specifically for junior high students ages 11 to 14. And then our second one, just a few weeks later, is for uh, music students, who whoever is musically inclined, whether you play uh, any instrument or you're just a singer. And our last one for the summer is a high school camp. Hmm. And, okay, so how long do these camps run for? Uh, each of them is about a week long. So they're five days, Monday through Friday. So you said right after, um, every camp runs right after each other? Is that how that um, works? It's about two weeks in between each camp. Okay. And so the junior camp, tell me, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of things are the children going to be learning? So uh, our theme for our junior high camp is facing the tides. So mm -hmm. we want to focus on anything that they may encounter as they're growing up, such as uh, bullying, how to handle these different situations. We do offer a lot of uh, fun and exciting opportunities for them. Uh, I know some of our uh, kids within the Central Valley have not been to like a ranch or uh, riding mm -hmm. horses. So we do offer that at um, Riata Ranch, which is in town uh, in, of Three Rivers, where um, they get to practice riding horses and roping with the uh, famous cowboy girls mm -hmm. there. So what does each day look like? Because it sounds like there's a lot packed into just one week. Yes, so um, each day varies. Um, at the end of the day, we try to cool off, whether it's a pool night or um, a movie night, a carnival night. So um, for the most part, it's all activities, uh, different activities that really encompasses our main theme, which is facing the tides. We want them to uh, leave the camp with something that some sort of tool that they can use here in real life. Which is very important because I think that's mm -hmm. the point. Summer camp, obviously, you go to have fun, mm -hmm. but you want to get something out of it and it, it'll help you grow you know, throughout life and face any challenges. Yeah, yeah, of course. What about music? So is it just for musically inclined? What if you, uh, you want to learn an instrument? So we do welcome beginners, um, especially like if you, we, we do encourage if you do have some sort of uh, musical background. <laughs> So, um, but we do have different instruments, different uh, lessons from uh, very talented uh, teachers from all across the Central Valley. And so we have one for uh, piano, percussion, strings, mm -hmm. voice, and the list goes on. Well, geez, I wish I knew how to do anything yeah. like that. <laughs> I mean, I grew up playing piano, but then it's just one of those things that phase out. But when you get mm -hmm. older, you're like, gosh, why did I, so why did I ever stop? Yeah, you, you know, know, I tried guitar for a couple of years. It didn't work out too much for me. So I just kind of helped well, out. Maybe we both can sign up for the camp. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I think maybe we, we both need help, it. Yeah. Right? And then, okay, so there's a third camp, right? It's the high school camp? Yes. Okay. Um, so that one is actually our newest edition. Mm -hmm. uh, we started it last year and it's turned out to be a huge success for us. And so, um, this one we're trying to encompass a little bit more um, as far as like activities because the kids are a little bit older, so they can handle a little bit more. So in addition to taking them to Riata Ranch as well, we also get to take them to Sequoia National Park mm -hmm. where we get to hike around a little bit. Um, and our theme for them is really just uh, persevering. We want them to push through, persevere, and um, it really it's about these new experiences because I know either they're coming into high school or they're leaving high school. We want them to leave with a an experience and really getting to know all these different people from across the Central Valley. Do you see that someone goes through this camp and they come out I don't want to say a different person. That's that's you know a short amount of time, mm -hmm. but you know you see some changes. Uh, definitely, actually, we at the end of the camp we kind of ask them uh, what their experiences was like, and you know from the beginning, from meeting them, even though it's only five days, from meeting them to the end of the camp, 
some of these kids, we see a completely different person. Mm. And I know some that come up, they're a little shy, they're a little more, you know, in their shell. And by the end of camp, they're a completely different person. That's great to hear. Mm. And you can sign up for more than one week. Uh, yes. yes. So okay. uh, you can sign up for if you fall into the category of, you know, exiting junior high and then going into high school camp, you can sign up for both camps. You can do um, uh, both uh, junior high and high school or high school and uh, music camp. You know, it doesn't have to be just one. Awesome. And how mm -hmm. do people sign up? So um, I believe on your guys' website, you'll mm -hmm. be uh, attaching a link to our website. And on our website, we have... Um, our page has all the information, a lot more into detail about all of our summer camps and all of our programs, as well as like pictures of the retreat center and the staff and everything. So if you want, you know, you can go check it out. And then there's also a link that follows uh, to our registration page. Awesome. Well, Isaac, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. These summer camps sound so much fun. So go sign up, go check out the website. You're watching Lifestyle Matters. I'm Marilyn Moore, and we'll see you next time.